Hi, my name is Sharon Klein and I will be reading a book to use in an ESL classroom. This lesson could be used in a beginner ESL classroom to introduce animals and what happens on a farm. Good morning class, today we'll be reading what's happening on the farm. When I am reading, your voices must be at a zero. When you are talking to your partner, you can have your voices at a level one. When I show the blue screen, you may talk to your partner about the question on the page. Talk with your partner about what you think will happen in this book. A visit to the hens. Can you see how many eggs the hens have laid? Who is asleep in the hen house? Can you name all the animals in the picture? What is the horse doing? Shearing the sheep. Sheep need to have their woolly coats cut off in the summertime. Can you see which sheep is being sheared at the moment? There he is. Which animal shouldn't be in the sheep pen? One lamb is missing from the pen. Can you find it? Looking at the pigs. How many pigs can you see? How many are piglets? Pigs eat from a trough. Which other animal is looking for food? Feeding the ducks. Baby ducks are ducklings and baby geese are goslings. How many of each can you see? Which duckling is getting a ride? What other animals can you see around the pond? Milking time for the cows. Cows need to be milked every day. Which cow doesn't want to be milked? Found him. Who is going to get wet? Who is slipping in the mud? Picking the apples. How many different animals can you see? How many apple trees are there? Who is picking apples? Who is eating them? By the barn. How many kittens are there? Find two white hens and three mice. Uh-oh, what has happened to the trailer? Who has lost a shoe? Can someone match the mothers with their babies? What are the baby animals called? Please raise your hand if you can match one for me. What did you learn from reading this book? Please take time to write down on your sticky note three things that you learned from reading this book in class. You can also answer the questions on the screen. When you're finished writing your thoughts, we will come up one by one and stick them on the whiteboard in the front of the room. As you can see, this book introduces some key animals to the ESL students. They can connect what they learned from this book to their real life. This book is easy to read and can be easy to understand with the help of the teacher. I would have the book displayed on screen as well as in my hands for the students to see. We would discuss the answers to the questions as a group after they talk to their partners. I hope you enjoyed this book and maybe you can use it in your classroom too.